time in history, a woman, or more likely two women, are expected to lead a political party in Hamilton County. Democratic leaders meet tomorrow to replace Tim Burke, who is retiring, and women are predicted to win. Jeff Hurst tells us who's likely to become co-chairs and looks at Tim Burke's decades in the rough and tumble world of politics. I work with whoever our presidential candidate is. Politics has shaped Tim Burke. Absolutely. From student body president at Xavier in 1969-70 to the past 24 and a half years as chair or co-chair of the Hamilton County Democrats. There's no question that the biggest thrill was the election of Barack Obama. Tim Burke has been a force recruiting candidates and also as a member of the Board of Elections dealing with controversies like provisional ballots. Those are voters who go into a precinct indicate they're registered to vote at a different precinct but they've just moved. They're entitled to vote. After Xavier, Burke became an aide to an up-and-coming young council member in the 1970s named Jerry Springer. It was a great deal of fun. Burke fought hard for Democrats but won the respect of Republicans. When I arrived at party headquarters on March 17, 2008, the first message I had was from Tim Burke, and he was congratulating me. Republican chair Alex Triantafilo is Burke's rival in political races, but a colleague on the Board of Elections. As a person, he's a gentleman. Uh, he's a man of integrity. Democrats are expected to replace Burke with two female co-chairs, former state rep Connie Pillich and Springfield Township trustee Gwen McFarland. It's about time that we have more women in leadership. We will not bow down to... It's Democratic women, for the most part, who helped to support the women's marches we've seen nationally and here in Cincinnati and who are speaking out and making very legitimate demands and making changes. Burke will miss being chair, but will still be deeply involved in issues. Back at Xavier, Burke was part of a 10,000 student march protesting the National Guard killing of four students at Kent State. It was because of that, and my memory of that, that just a few weeks ago, when Xavier students walked out of class in response to the school shootings, I went back to Xavier just to stand there and be a part of that. Politics has shaped Tim Burke, and he has returned the favor. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Burke is not retiring from his law practice. The Democratic Central Committee meets tomorrow morning in Evendale to vote on a new